Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily reading, your daily vibes for Monday, February 26th. This is for all signs. Sorry, I'm a little late today. I had to bring my son to get his windshield replaced. of completion we have the ten of swords right off the bat there's some sort of loss perhaps you know because that's what the ten of swords is it's a completion it's an end it's 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 something going away okay so there is something that is being removed or you're letting go of releasing all right this ten of swords is telling me that there's something coming to an end Oh my gosh, with the death card. Please, Lord. We want this to be a good reading. Uh, so there is something going to be released. There is something that is going to be released today. Um, it's for your highest good, okay? And it brings about a new start, okay? Because that's what this ha that happens. This is basically like a death card, okay? Something is absolutely being released today. These are, these are huge energies, okay? Something is being let go of. There's going to be some sort of loss. And I don't consider this a literal death. I consider this a rebirth, okay? Something is leaving for your highest good, like I said before we even pulled this card, all right? So when you get the death card, this is something leaving that doesn't serve you so that you can go down a new road, so that you can start over. You can have this renewal that is so much needed in your life at this time. It's a transformation, okay? With death, that brings new life, okay? So just, just rest assured. Oh, with the Ace of Cups. Like I said, whatever's happening is bringing you a new beginning. Here's your new beginning. Okay, so trust me, well, like I said, with, with, with death brings new life. And this is something perhaps that you've been waiting for. Maybe you've been waiting for this transformation. Maybe you've really invested a lot of time in yourself over the last whatever period of time it is, could be a year, could be 10 years, whatever, it's been a while, okay? This right here, it could be seven years, all right? This right here tells me that there's been a lot of investment and it's time for a change, okay? It's time for you to receive the gold at the end of the rainbow, okay? And so you, many of us, or somebody that's watching this, is going through a major life rebirth right now major where the the old the old feelings the old emotions the old thoughts the old ways are being released okay they're being released there could be self-love here where the there or there's new love either way there's a new beginning that is very um emotionally appropriate on the horizon okay So, you know, there's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. There's also Scorpio. Um, we, all, we have all the signs, okay? We have all the signs here in this reading, okay? There is, it's, it's, it's all, I, I, sorry for stuttering. I believe that this is a, a time of change that is so much needed and desired after a period of boredom, after a period of, lack after a period of not receiving or not knowing or not being able to give okay let me zoom this in <coughs> okay 
there's been a lack of desire, a lack of focus, a lack of concentration, a lack of desire to stay stuck. Okay? The desire to stay stuck is is <coughs> sorry, I was trying to cough down or trying to get rid of a cough. Anyhow, the desire to stay stuck is no longer there. And even if it is still there, I feel as though the universe is here to help you out, okay? Because there is a renewal here. There's a rebirth that allows love to come back, whether it's self-love or new love. There's some sort of removal that is happening that is allowing love to come back, okay? And it's it brings back focus. It brings back concentration. It brings back uh, passion and drive and excitement. And it allows you to focus again, okay? So I feel like there's been a period of time where many of us were in this um, state of boredom or state of lack that is being removed. I think that state of mind is being let go, okay? It's dying. It's over, okay? It's it's done. I, I'm letting these... I'm cutting my losses and I'm moving on. And I feel like as when these losses get removed from your life, this, this is when the transformation starts. So today, you know, I have to remind people that these energies are fluid. And because there's so many people watching this, some of this could have already happened. It could be starting today. It could be due tomorrow or it could be next week, okay? Because these energies are fluid. What I'm getting today from my reading for you is that something is being removed. There is some sort of loss that brings a beautiful new beginning and allows you to go through a transformation that you have been desiring. It brings back focus. It brings back energy, okay? This loss could be something that, you know, you've been expecting. You may have been expecting it. I feel though many of us or many of the people watching this have been through a period of of working on ourselves, working soul searching, working on our soul, working on um, receiving what we would desire. We've been planting the seeds and I think now that it, I see growth, okay? Now it's time. Now it's time for things to actually change. So with the Ten of Swords... And the death card. There's a new beginning on the horizon. And this new beginning comes after a major release. It's time to reap the rewards of your investment. Talk to you later.